From athletes to high-level entrepreneurs and everybody in between, people are raving about the power of visualization. But why is visualization so powerful? I'm gonna explain it in this video. My name is Tiffany Toombs. I'm a high performance mindset coach that has worked with thousands of people across the world to let go of their mental blocks and truly step into the person that they are meant to be. In this video, I'm going to share with you why visualization is so incredibly powerful. Then I'm going to share the most common mistakes that people make that stop them from getting results when they visualize. And finally, I'm going to share with you how you can supercharge your visualizations to go to a whole new level. So there was a study done on basketball players where they split basketball players into two different groups. One group was physically shooting 50 free throws a day and they tested their accuracy before and after a 30-day period of practicing every day. The second group never touched a basketball but in their mind they mentally visualized themselves picking up that basketball and throwing those free throws. And they would visualize 50 different free throws a day, every day for 30 days. Now again, they measured their accuracy at the start and at the end of the study. The first group had a 24% increase in their free throw accuracy after the 30 day period. The mental visualization group, a 23% increase in their accuracy. So what we can learn is that the mind actually doesn't know the difference between fiction and reality. A lot of people oftentimes say things like, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, if you can visualize it in your mind, that's all the convincing that your unconscious mind needs to know that whatever that thing is, is possible. There's also been studies done that show that even just visual visualizing yourself going for a run or doing a workout will have small improvements in your body's muscle tone, in your heart tone, in your lung strength. And so this mental rehearsal, as we call it, is a way that we can get an edge on our competition. Athletes who use visualization techniques are able to get more practice in than what their body will physically allow them to do. Now there was another really cool study done on the piano. They took two groups again. One group physically played a song with their left hand every single day for 30 days. The other group visualized themselves playing that song with their left hand every day for 30 days. Now what they did was before and after the 30 day period, they measured how many neural pathways or the thickness of the part of the brain that controls the left hand movement. What they found at the end of the 30 days was that both groups had the same increase in density in that area of the brain as each other. There was no statistical significant difference. And so this shows the power of visualization. Physically, our bodies can only do so much, but mentally, we can gain an edge and an advantage on people by mentally rehearsing the things that we want to see. And you can mentally rehearse anything. You can mentally rehearse yourself going through a sales process, uh, giving a presentation, playing a sport, doing an activity or an action that you want to get better at. Anything that you can visualize, your mind is going to perceive as you actually doing it and it's going to help build up those circuits in the mind. Now before I share with you the most common mistakes people make with visualization, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. I am putting out brand new videos just like this one every single day to help you become the highest performer that you can possibly be by mastering the power of your mind. So go ahead and click that subscribe button below and like this video while you're there. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when it comes to mental rehearsal and when it comes to visualization is that they don't actually practice with consistency. They'll visualize themselves doing something once and then they'll expect this massive and dramatic change. That's not how it happens. The brain improves itself and it works through repetition. So the best thing that you can do is actually to spend, even if it's just five minutes a day, to spend that time consistently every day visualizing the thing that you want. It's better to do five minutes a day for 30 days than to do one hour once and then wonder why you're not getting the transformation that you want. The other common mistake that people make is they don't visualize themselves doing the thing that they want to be doing 
perfectly. If you visualize yourself just kind of going through the motions, then the circuits that you're creating in the mind is just you going through the motions. So as the saying says, it's not practice makes perfect, but perfect practice makes perfect. So visualize what it would feel like and what it would look like for you to be giving the perfect speech, for you to be nailing your sales script exactly how you need to do it, for you to be making the most amount of money that is beyond your wildest dreams right now. The more that you visualize it with precision and accuracy, the more finite the detail that you can get, the better it's going to be. Now, before I share with you how you can supercharge your visualizations, I wanna hear from you. Have you made one of these common mistakes with your visualization before? If so, go to the comments below and let me know which one. Now to supercharge your visualizations, there's a couple things that we can do. Firstly, we want to visualize it as though it is happening now. So not one day in the future I'm going to do this, but we actually want to visualize that it's happening for us in this current moment. The unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the future and now, or between fiction and reality. The more the unconscious mind will seek out ways to make that visualization your current reality. The second thing that we want to do with the visualization to make it even more powerful is we want to feel the emotions that we will feel when we achieve that goal. Whatever the goal is, we want to feel the elation, the excitement, the pride, the joy, the gratitude, the happiness, the love, whatever it is, we want to really feel into those feelings. If you've watched any of my videos on manifesting or on the quantum world, you know that our thoughts are like a radio frequency that goes out into the universe and says, here's my order, but it's our feelings that magnetizes that thing into us and says, this is the house that I want you to deliver it to. And so we want to connect with the feelings as much as possible. As much as people like to think that they are logical, intellectual beings, we are emotional beings. We make all decisions based on emotion and then we back it up with logic and reason. So we want to bring those emotions into our visualizations. Now the last thing that you can do to supercharge your visualizations, and this is more so if you're looking to manifest something, you want to manifest a house or a car, is we want to start the visualization in our body. So I would visualize myself driving that car, but then I want to step out of my body and watch myself, almost like I'm watching myself in a movie, have this thing. And the reason is, if I'm only visualizing it through my own eyes, because the unconscious mind does not know the difference between fiction and reality, the unconscious mind will tick that off the list. Oh, they've got this. Now, even though consciously you know, well, I don't have that car yet, so of course I'm still gonna take action, it's not your conscious mind that's driving your behavior, it's your unconscious mind. And so if the unconscious mind sees us on a screen doing or having, achieving the goal that we want, then it says, A, this is possible, and B, there's work to be done to get it, so I need to get to work. Now, if you want a guided visualization that's going to help you supercharge your visualization step by step, I would love to share with you my Expand Your Power meditation. This is one of the most powerful meditations I have ever put together, and it is definitely a favorite with my clients. All you have to do to get instant access is go to meditationwithtiffany.com or click on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.